Hi, this is Ted Pickens from BiteWiser.com and today I'm going to show you how to make an Ohio State license plate. Uh, this is actually the pretty ugly one that I think. Anyways, it looks like it's dirty at the bottom with the gold. I got this image from 15q.net as you can see. Uh, first thing you want to do is set your dimensions for your drawing to 640 by 330 and then go ahead and click on your rectangle and go make a rectangle and something like that ought to be pretty good. You want it to look about the dimensions of a license plate. Then we want to pull down this circular node here and kind of round out the corners kind of like that. Now what we can do is do an object to path on it and temporarily I'm going to make this blue. Now I'm going to duplicate that by doing control D. I'm going to make that a different color so I can see it now what I'm going to do is I am going to go and do a, a object, I'm sorry, a path dynamic offset on it. I'm going to drag that in just a little bit here. And now I can do a object to path on it. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to move up these nodes on the bottom so I'm going to click my edit paths by nodes tool and select these guys on the bottom I'm going to up arrow up a little bit just a little bit I think that'll probably be good and now I'm going to go and duplicate this dark blue uh, rectangle by doing control D I'm going to make that a different color right now again I'm going to move this time I'm going to move the right side of these nodes in just a little bit so I'm going to left do a left button here and what I want to do with all these actually right now is I want to go ahead and center this stuff so I'm going to go to align and distribute and I'm going to center this stuff on the page now um, I'm going to go back to this brown square again I, w I'm, I don't think I'm quite done with what I want to do here I want to move this in just a little bit on both sides okay <clears throat> now I can select this whole thing and I'm gonna arrow it down that looks good now I'm gonna go and perform a union on the dark blue and the brown shapes so we have something like that what we're gonna need to do now is we're gonna need to zoom in and we need to show all the nodes here and what we want to do is we want to add a node three pixels to the left and three pixels down from this one right here so I'm gonna double click here and I'm gonna double click here and I'm gonna try to make these three pixels from there so our X distance for this guy is at 179.4694 pixels so what we want is 176.469 for this guy here. So 176.469. And then we need the Y distance for this guy here, which is 100.969. So 3 down from that is 97.969. So 97 97.969. Now what we can do is we can delete this corner node here just by selecting it and pressing delete and you can see right there it's got kind of a roundish shape to it. Not quite what I want but what I'm going to do here is just move around these guys so that it gives it a little bit more of a rounded corner. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scroll all the way to the right and do the same thing with this corner node here. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to add these two nodes here. Now the X distance for this guy is 460.531. I'm going to make this 463.531. And the Y distance for this guy is again 100.969 so I need to make that 97.969 again. Now I'll click on this corner guy again, press delete, and now I'm going to move around this again so that I can uh, round out the corners, 
or the corner I should say. That's probably okay. I'm going to zoom out and you can see now we, we kind of have uh, what looks a little bit like a license plate. So now the, f the next thing that I think we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the Ohio text up here where it says Ohio obviously. Um, so let's get our text tool and type in Ohio in caps. So O-H-I-O. And the font that it uses, what I found is that it appears to be, uh, it's a free font called David. So use that and then make it bold. And that looks pretty much just like what's on the license plate here. So we'll move that down here and we'll center it. And it probably needs to probably needs to move up just a little bit so I'm just going to scoot that up and the next thing we can do and we'll worry about colors later the next thing we can do is add the text birthplace of aviation I don't know why they keep trying to say they're the birthplace of aviation I know it has to do with the Wright brothers being born there but I don't think anyone associates Ohio with aviation it's North Carolina so Let's go and get that guy. Now the font that I believe is used for this is just Arial, uh, bolded of course. So um, use your Arial font and it's already bold. So I'm going to shrink that down just a little bit and you can see that looks a lot like what's on there and we need to make that a lot smaller. So I'm going to shrink that down just a little bit, center that. And move that up maybe just a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, um, the next thing we can do is add the license plate uh, license number. Uh, the font that I found that works for that is, uh, well, there's only one license plate font that I found, and it's another free font. And it was just called, I think it was license plate. Yeah license plate. So we can do uh, how about fight wiser and we'll move that down here that's gonna have to get a lot bigger. Now this isn't exactly what Ohio's uh, letters look like for their license plate numbers but it's close enough for our purposes here. Whoop. Now I'm going to want to center that, so go to page, relative to page, and center that. And now we can start worrying about colors. So first thing we can do here is select the light blue uh, rectangle that we first drew, and we'll make that kind of a kind of a gray color here. Excuse me. The white color that we want to use after I, I messed around with this for a little bit is going to be D9, 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 FF. That's a, a grayish color. And the next thing we want to do is go up to filters. You want to go to shadows and glows. And what I did was just darken edges. And we're going to do the same thing here for the dark blue one. We're going to change that color again to D9, 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 FF. And again, we're going to go up to Filters, Shadows and Glows, and Darken Edges. So now we kind of have something going on here. Um, <clears throat> now the color for the Ohio and for our license plate text, that color I found to be 1B2471 FF. It's pretty close. It might not be exact, but it's pretty close from what I've seen in this picture here. And we can do the same thing with the Ohio. I'm going to grab my dropper, and there we go. For the birthplace of aviation, that color is AC. 1A, 1C, FF. And again, that's pretty close. So now the next thing that we can do um, that I forgot about is we need to add the county. So let's go and 
grab our text tool and type in a county of we can do Montgomery but I don't want to be exact here uh, the the county that Cleveland is in is Cuyahoga so we'll type that in and that is not using the license plate font that's it's using something like Arial but it's not quite Arial I, I can't figure out quite what it is but it's real close to that now what what I found was that you kinda have to scrunch it up a little bit and that looks a little bit better but it's not quite it's not quite it but let's move that down here and we'll center that up on the page so there we go we got we got all that going on now we can add our gradient to all this stuff now we're gonna click on the inside triangle here and do a radial gradient and we're gonna edit that now the top color that we want is gonna be that grayish white color and that's D9 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 FF and the FF is for the opacity to be all the way up and we're gonna wanna do the gold color that it's gonna fade to we're gonna wanna crank up the alpha color well yeah and uh, the gold color is DC BD72 so there we go we can exit out of there grab our edit pass by nodes tool and uh, kinda move this around use a control button to kinda lock this so it's straight and uh, that gold doesn't start until uh, probably about the last two-thirds of that license plate so we'll move this gray color down here kind of like kind of like this I think and what we can do is the same thing for the back the big uh, rectangle so we'll do another uh, linear gradient select that and then rotate it just like what we did for the inside rectangle and we'll kind of want to line these up a little bit so something like that's alright so there's most of our license plate the next thing that we can do is we can add holes where the screws go in to bolt it to your car so I'm going to put in a little circle like that do an object to path on it. I don't think it really matters too much, but I want to get that close to the edge of that little raised part of the license plate. Now I want to set that to white and I want to perform uh, filters, shadows and glows, and do a darken edges on that. So I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to bring that straight up by pressing the up arrow bring that to the top that's good now I'm going to select these two and duplicate them by pressing control D again and press the right arrow and bring them all the way over there and I think the last thing I'm not really going to deal with the sticker I don't really care about that but I'm just going to put in that little dash line here I'm just trying to make this quick um, and do the little dash. It's still rounded from the last time we dealt with this. So we got to undo that. Do an object to path on that. Get our dropper. Get the blue color. And there you go. There is our license plate. So that's how you can make a really quick and easy license plate in Inkscape. You can do all sorts of other license plates if you want. I chose this one just because it was really easy. Yeah, I know it's really ugly, but uh, it was easy to do and I just wanted to show you how you can at least make the uh, the shape of the license plate and the holes and everything like that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. This is Ted Pickens from Bitewiser. See ya.